Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm teaching you how to download and install just enough items in Minecraft 1.16.3. From where to download it to where to install it, it's all going to be covered in this video. But first and foremost, we do have this from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown .xyc Apex. You get an incredible 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we have our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you're looking to start your very own Minecraft server with 24-7 support, amazing DDoS protection, incredible hardware, and overall just an incredibly easy setup and management process, check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown .xyz Apex. But you're not here to get a server, you're here to get just enough items. Let's go ahead and uh, do that. Let's go ahead and get just enough items. In order to do this, you want to go to the second link down below. That's going to take you here. Now, this is our text tutorial for just enough items. The reason we have this tutorial is uh, some people say I go a little too fast in these videos. If that's the case, this text tutorial walks you through everything at your own pace. So you don't have to worry about me speeding through it when uh, you can go at your own pace there. However, the video you're watching right now is going to appear right up here at the top after, you know, it goes live. Obviously, it can't be there right now because the video's not live. So, nevertheless, let's go ahead, and once you're on this page, you want to scroll down and click on this yellow Download Just Enough Items button. That'll take you off to Just Enough Items' official download page. Now, what is Just Enough Items? Well, it's pretty simple. It is a inventory utility edition mod, right? So, I would call this a utility-based mod, basically meaning it adds, you know, something to Minecraft that kind of, like, makes the game a bit better, but doesn't add anything block-wise or anything like that to the game. So, as you can see here, for example, if you wanted to know how to to craft whatever item this is you can go ahead and click on that item and it'll show you how to craft it same thing you know with the yellow wool you can see click on the yellow wool and it will show you the crafting recipe if you have the stuff in your inventory to craft it and you have a you know crafting table available like your inner crafting table window you can click on this plus right here and it will automatically add it to the crafting table I'm gonna show you all that in game later on but that's basically what it does it allows you to see how like to craft things in game by searching for it on this right hand side like this right hand menu is added you can search for things click on items over there and then it'll show you how to craft them and you can easily add them to crafting table now that's cool for vanilla minecraft but it's really really cool when you're running it with other mods, right? Let's say you wanted to install refined storage that has so many different tech blocks and things like that. Who knows how you craft half of that stuff? And instead of having to always go back to the wiki, if you have just enough items installed, you don't have to go to the wiki to figure out how to craft it. You can learn in game by just clicking on the block directly in game and see how to craft the item, right? So pretty cool stuff. That's why this is such an important mod. That's why it's so popular and that's why most people want it. But I figured I'd go ahead and go over what it did before we got it installed. So let's go ahead and get it downloaded. To do that, once you're on this official download page, come over here to the right hand side and scroll down until you see Minecraft 1.16. Then under that, you'll see JEI-1.16.3 there. Click the purple download button to the right of that, and it will go ahead and start the download after a few seconds. As you can see, three, two, one. The download will then automatically happen. Now, here's the deal. If you are on Mozilla Firefox, the download process is going to be a little different than if you're on Google Chrome. If you're on Google Chrome, it'll pop up in the bottom left and ask you to keep the file. It's 100% safe to keep it. As you can see, it says JEI in the title. That's what we wanted to download. That's the same file we thought we were downloading, so we are safe to keep the file. Now, Mozilla Firefox, it'll pop up in the center of your screen. It'll also say just enough items there. It'll end in .jar. It'll be the file you wanted to download, but you'll need to click OK and save the file there in order to do that. So you need to save it on Mozilla Firefox or keep it on Google Chrome. Now we aren't done downloading just yet. We still need to download Forge. To do that, you want to go to the third link down below. That's going to take you here. This is our in-depth Forge guide for Minecraft 1.16.3. It goes through everything you need to know about getting Forge. I mean, literally everything is covered here, but I'm be going over the basics of Forge in this video. The only reason we link to this is because, again, if we go too fast, you can go through the Forge tutorial at your own pace, and there's some troubleshooting and things like that that you may have issues with Forge. Most people don't. I'd say probably about 5% of the people that install Forge have issues installing it, but if you are in that 5%, you can come here and get troubleshooting help through this tutorial. Then let's just go ahead and click on this green Download Forge button. The digs on Forge's official website where you want to make sure it says MC 1.16.3 at the top. And as you can see, it does say MC 1.16.3 here. If it doesn't, just click on plus 1.16 on the left-hand side and click on 1.16.3 there. Then once you see MC 1.16.3 here, come under the Download Recommended and click on the Installer button right there. Then then take us off to Add Focus. We're stop. You don't want to click anything on this page. Do not click a single thing on this page whatsoever except the red Skip button that's going to appear in the top right after seven seconds. After a few seconds in this top right, you'll have this red skip button appear. That is the only thing you want to click on this page. Don't click any other buttons at all on this page other than the red skip button in the top right. When you click on that red skip button on the bottom left on Google Chrome, a file will download. As long as it says Forge in that title, which ours does, we can go ahead and click Keep. Now, Mozilla Firefox, it'll ask you to save that file on the center of your screen. Again, 100% safe to save as long as it has Forge in the title. If it doesn't, just discard, click Cancel, whatever you need to do. Just don't download the file, basically. And then click that red skip button in the top right and Forge will download and then you can keep that file. 
Now we go ahead and minimize our browser. Here in our desktop, we do have just enough items, and we also have Forge. Now, in order to install just enough items, we need to install Forge. So we're going to be starting off with installing Forge here. To do that, go ahead and right-click on Forge, click on Open With. So, sorry, right-click on Forge, click on Open With, and then click on Java there, and then you should be able to click OK. But what if you don't have Java here, or what if these don't look correctly? What if these aren't even on your desktop? Well, if they aren't on your desktop, they're going to be found in your Downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icon to the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that little Windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen. Type in Downloads. You have this Downloads file folder here. Click on that, and then in here, you will find just enough items and forage, right like so. You can drag these to your desktop just for ease of use. Once these are on your desktop, we can go ahead and close out of that. And again, we can start off with Forge. But what if these don't look like this, right? What if they don't look like these jar files? Or again, what if you don't have Java when you right click on Forge, click on Open With, and click on like, what if Java's not here? Well, if that's the case, you need to download Java, specifically Java for Minecraft mods. Just enough items being a Minecraft mod. Well, guess what? That's what you need this version of Java for. So come here, Java for Minecraft servers, Minecraft mods, and more. Basically, anything you want to do with Minecraft other than play Minecraft needs this version of Java. So come here, download this simple three-step process. At that point, you should be able to open up Forge with Java, but if you can't, you're still having issues, your logos still look weird, for example, they don't look like those Java logos that we have, like these logos right here, they don't look like that. If that's the case, you want to go ahead and run the jar fix, which you can find linked in the description down below. It is also a quick and easy three-step process, boom, 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 and you're going to be good to go there. Super simple, super easy. Now we go ahead and minimize our browser. We can finally right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. When we click on OK there, it's going to go ahead and open up the Mod System Installer for Forge. What you want to do is click on Install Client and click OK. And it's going to go through, download, do some things, set up Forge, everything that you need to know about getting Forge, or basically not everything you need to know, everything it needs to do to set up Forge is happening right now. It's putting everything together, linking everything together, adding it to Minecraft. Now, it might freeze at the end like that. That's okay. If it freezes at the end, it says it's 100%, but it's not finished, that's okay. And then it will eventually come up and say, Successfully Install Client Profile Forge for version 1.16.3. That is awesome. Let's go ahead and click OK there. Now, you can at this point delete Forge from your desktop if you want to. You don't have to, or you may not be able to. And if you're not able to, no worries. Just open up Minecraft and close out of it, which we're about to have to do. And then you should be able to delete Forge. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. But before you slam that play button, before you just come down here and hit play, right, we need to make sure we're selecting the correct profile. To do that, click the little arrow to the left of the play button here, just a little arrow, and then select the Forge profile. It should say 1.16.3-Forge under it, and if it does, you can hit the green play button. But if it doesn't say 1.16.3-Forge under it, or you don't have this Forge profile at all, here's what you do. Click on the Installations tab up here at the top of Minecraft, and then click on the Plus New button. Once you click on the Plus New button here, it's then going to open up something like this. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming that? Because that is our own incredible Minecraft server. We've got Medieval Survival 1.16.3 custom quest it's incredible you'll love it we've got aquatic survival with an amazing player-based economy custom skyblock with a huge update coming soon to skyblock custom factions small 10 player team-based factions you will absolutely love it so come play with this play.breakdowncraft.com is the ip and i cannot wait to see you online Nevertheless, we're going to go ahead and add in a name there. Then we want to click on this version drop down box. Now, in here, you should have a release 1.16.3 Forge. Mine's right up here at the top, so I can go ahead and select that. You may have to scroll down some to find yours. I've actually seen it at the very, very, very bottom of Minecraft before, so you might have to scroll all the way down there to get that. But nevertheless, mine's up here at the top, release 1.16.3 Forge. We go ahead and click on that. Now, our resolution, I'm going to change this to 1920 by 1080. That's not something you have to do. I'm just doing that because we're recording a video, and I want you to be able to see once we get in game. Now, we're going to click the green create button in the bottom right. Now, down here on our installations page, we have this playdarbreakdowncraft.com profile. Under that, it says 1.16.3-Forge, so we can go ahead and hover over it and click the green play button. Now, Minecraft is going to open up with Forge, and from this point, it's super, super simple to install just enough items. The hard part is truly over. It's super easy to do. However, I do see that we do have some mods installed here. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick jump cut to get those mods removed, and then we'll basically open back up on this red screen. Like nothing ever happened. So we are back on the red screen there. Those mods have been removed. Sorry about that. Sometimes I forget to remove mods in between tutorials. Um, it very rarely happens, but occasionally it does. And when it does, I have to do a weird jump cut like that and remove those mods and then come back in game. So yeah, but nevertheless, here we are. We are now loading up Minecraft. Like I said, at this point, it is very, very simple and very, very easy to get just enough items installed. You are done with the hard part. Honestly, the hardest part is installing Forge. Once you've got Forge installed and running, you are good to go. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. What we now want to do is click on the mods 
tab here from the Minecraft main menu. When you click on that mods tab, it'll open up something like this. And then you want to click on the open mods folder button in the bottom left. However, I'm going to go ahead and increase our GUI scale just so you all can be able to see better. I like to play it too, but do tutorials at three. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on that mods tab from the Minecraft main menu. And then on the bottom left, you have that open mods folder button. When you click on that, it's going to open up your mods folder right like so. Then all you need to do to install just enough items is take it from your desktop and drag and drop it into your mods folder. It's that simple. So take just enough items from your desktop, drag and drop it into your mods folder. And then when you come back to Minecraft, it's not going to be here. And it's actually never going to be here until you click done and then click quick game and then open Minecraft back up. So we're gonna open up the Minecraft launcher here. Now, you don't wanna slam the play button again this time. Now, you don't have to worry about creating a profile, but you do wanna make sure that you have the correct profile selected. So for some of you, that's gonna be your Forge profile. For others, that's gonna be your play.breakdowncraft.com profile. But as long as it says 1.16.3-4, it's under it, you are good to go ahead and click play on the profile. You don't have to go to the installations tab or anything, just click it from that menu there to the left of the play button. Now, as you can see, we do have just enough items, completed deep scan of JEI 1.16.3. It's basically saying that it's completed the scan, saying that it's there, right? The mod's there. It looks like it's gonna work as a mod, so it's gonna try opening it. And then at this point, it could still fail, but it's not gonna fail because yeah, I mean, I've tested it for one and two. I just know that like, this is a very stable version of uh, Forge on a pretty stable version of just enough items. So nevertheless, it's not going to have any issues. But once we are in the Minecraft main menu here, there's a few different ways that we can just confirm that the mod's installed. One of which being that we can go to the mods tab. And there it is, just enough items. Boom, it's there, it's loaded up. That means it's in Minecraft. Um, but now we can also jump into single player. Um, let's see. Sorry about that. I figured I'd go ahead and do a jump cut. Basically, this is encouraging you to vote in the United States, which you should do if you want to figure out how to vote. You can go to vote.org there. Already sent in my ballot for the year, but nevertheless, <laughs> you can go ahead and do that. So you can press escape once this year, and it won't show again. Pretty cool stuff. Little message there. But here we are on the single player main menu where we can go ahead and click on test 1.13 or 1.16.3 world. You don't have to do it using the test world. You can use it in anything you want. That's just the word that we're using. So anyway, we're going to load on in here to the Minecraft main menu. And when we hit E in survival, you can see all of this is over here. You want to know how to craft something like a jack-o'-lantern? That's how you craft it. You get a carved pumpkin and a torch. How do you make a carved pumpkin? Well, you, you can't because, yeah, you, you just find that. But nevertheless, glowstone, that's how you can make glowstone. You want to know how to make an iron block? That's how you make an iron block. You want to know how to make, you know, stone bricks? That's how you can make stone bricks. That's how you can make stone, right? Look at that. That's cool. All that is kind of there. It's all here. It's all set up. How do you make, you know, the crimson planks? Well, you take a crimson stem and you break it down into planks and then it's so on and so forth. It is really, really cool. But what I wanted to show you was that you can craft stuff in game via like that plus menu. So we're going to make ourselves a crafting table really fast. Boom. And then we're going to go ahead and we got to make something out of this wood. So let's go ahead. First, we're going to make some sticks so we can search for a stick here. Boom, click on that, and then we can go ahead and click the plus button. Look at that, it moves it right in there, right like so. And then let's go ahead and make ourselves a wooden axe. So we can do wooden, and then we have the axe here. We can click on, or not axe, there we go, wooden axe there. And then we wanna make this, we can just click on the plus and move items, and boom, there it is, it's made. Now you can also do shift clicking with this, right? So if you go ahead and shift click on the plus, it's gonna add enough to make like as much as you have in your inventory. So if you just wanna make one item, just click on the plus button one time. If you wanna make, you know, as many as you can possibly make, click shift and click on the plus there and it'll add it in. So there you go, now we have a wooden axe and we are good to go. That's how you can add just enough items to Minecraft 1.16.3. Pretty simple, pretty easy. There is settings down here in the bottom right, but those can't really be accessed in game um, currently. That I expect that to change in the future, but right now if you click on that, it does say you need to install the FTB GUI library to access them in game, basically saying that it's made for mod packs and not really something that, um, you know, you should never really have to mess with. Truthfully, you shouldn't ever have to use the settings in just enough items, but if you do, there are ways to do that, and installing that additional mod can allow you to do that in-game. But nevertheless, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week, and come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com. I cannot wait to see you online there. But nevertheless, again, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.